Ever since I was a wee little lad many, many years ago, I have been dealing with the annoying pimple on my forehead, and I thought that I was going to be done with puberty by the time I was 30, and uh, not so much. And now whenever I talk about acne on the channel, it's always like, <laughs> Max, it's your diet! I am a vegan, and I've never had a pimple! Max, I eat literal dog shit 24-7. I've never had a pimple. Dude, it's because you eat all the sugar. Shut up! But last time I was here at the dermatologist checking my moles for cancer, they were like, hey, if you ever have like a cystic thing like this, this mountain that's forming on your forehead, they said that they can inject, uh, it's called cortisone in there and it'll just make it go away. And it's like 50 or 100 bucks and 50 or $100 is worth that going away. Cortisone is a steroid. <laughs> I'm taking steroids. Don't call the video, I'm taking steroids. Don't call the video, I'm taking steroids. Don't call the video, I'm taking steroids. But it'll get more views, but they'll hate you. But that's only if they assume that it's anabolic steroids for the gym. They will assume it and they will hate you. Don't call it, I'm taking steroids. She said I can film it. So what are we injecting? So this is a solution of triamcinolone. So the brand name of it is Kenalog. So it's 2.5 milligrams per ml. So for this, we're using steroid to get rid of the inflammation in the skin. So we are injecting steroids. Yeah, but it's not the same for bodybuilding. Right, so right, right, this right. won't build muscle, but we're just doing, and it's only in the dermis. What if I have like a side effect of building muscle? Well, then that would be a case report for me to write up. <laughs> we'll keep our happened. fingers crossed. Yeah, I just don't want you to like flinch or anything. I've never flinched in my entire okay. life. <laughs> and no allergies to any medicines. Not that I know of, we'll right? find out. And we do just the tiniest bit. Am I beautiful yet? So we see it blanch. <laughs> That's how I Do know. you think this is being overdramatic for a pimple? No, we, I have patients come in all the time for this. There is a type of acne called steroid-induced acne, <sighs> which actually is what a lot of the bodybuilders... Um, we call them fake natties. Is that what you call them? <laughs> That's what we call them. <laughs> yeah, so I have some, some <laughs> patients that I can tell just by the, by, by the morphology of their acne that it's probably due to either testosterone or So steroids. you can look at me and be like, this guy's not on testosterone. No, because your skin <laughs> looks good. No, your is that skin right? looks perfect. <laughs> or she's like, you're small. No, no. <laughs> Kanye West gonna hit me up like, Max, first of all, I put out a new album and it sucks. Second of all, how do you create such hype around candy? I'm like, I don't know. I, li I literally have no idea. People truly like sugar. <laughs> Spike in your glycemic index is cool. truck. <laughs> Sick. What's in the truck, Max? I need to know. I'm sitting at my computer. I need to know what's in the truck. What's in the truck? Tell me what's in the truck. What is it, Max? Tell me what it is. What the heck are these things, man? Because they look like tires, but they look way bigger than any tire I've ever seen. Mm. Mm. 
<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you a 42 inch motherfucking tire. Look how big this thing is. <laughs> Look at this. This is what's going on my Jeep. Hold on, let me pull it in. That's the opposite of pulling out. <laughs> oh my God, so sick, hold on. So just to give you an idea of what this bitch is gonna look like. But see, we're pushing the rear back, so this is actually probably gonna sit like there. <laughs> November, baby! All right, so uh, much later in the day, had an insane uh, launch with Sour Strips. So the first time we sold out in 54 minutes, we had the exact same size launch this time, and we sold out in exactly 30 minutes. So not only do I want to thank all you guys, it's just like this thing is going to be big, and I, I just can't wait. It's a, kind of a passion project for me. It's like a lifelong thing to own a successful candy company, and uh, we're on the right track. But one thing I'm having trouble dealing with is figuring out how to handle like certain situations and this might be uh, a good piece of insight for a lot of people who have businesses because like I get I was getting emails today and I'm handling all the customer service I'm doing everything it even says my name at the bottom it says max owner so people know that they're talking to me um, but I'm getting people who are like legitimately like angry that they couldn't get it or they put it in their cart and then they went to check out and by the time they put in the information it was gone and I'm like, I don't know what you want me to do. Like thousands of people, like thousands of people were able to get it. Like it's unfortunately not everyone can get it. That's just the, the way it goes. And then sometimes if people put in the wrong billing information, it like puts the order in, but it doesn't actually process. And then they're all pissed off and they're like, the order was canceled. And I get people that are like, are like yelling at me on customer service. They're like, I know you have more inventory back there. Like you're doing giveaways, you're doing all this stuff. Like this is the shittiest customer service I've ever had. Like how the fuck are you gonna own a company? Like saying these things, like how are you gonna own a company and not have enough inventory? This is like terrible. All your, and I'm like, I'm like, you know, thank you for your email. I apologize. You know, we didn't expect this type of, you know, explosion. Like, uh, you know, we're a smaller company. We're trying to do our best. They're like, that's the best you can do. You're a small company. Like, give me my order. I'm like, I don't like, that's not how it works. I can't just be like, yes, we have some back stock. You know, you couldn't get it. I'm just going to make a custom order for you. Like, that's just not how it works. Like, and like, they know they're talking to me. I'm like, I, I, like what do you want me to do? Like people, I, I don't know. Like I, I feel like they get mad because they don't win the giveaways. Like they're like, I'm, I'm never buying from this company because you're only choosing girls. You're only choosing guys. Like I saw this person has a lot of followers. I'm like, what? Like, I, you can't please everyone, and I'm trying to learn how to deal with all of that. Uh, I was a lot of a, a lot of emails and customer service things today were like I didn't know how to respond to them because like people are just so angry at me, and I'm like I apologize. We're trying to improve all of our processes. And they're like that's not good enough. Give me the candy. I'm like I don't know what you want me to do. So uh, it's a learning process. An interesting one at that. I'll see you in the morning. Kelly, I don't use the plans, and sure as fuck don't sneak this. Keep commenting on my daughter, Haley. Keep on telling motherfuckers business in case you forgot. I really need your memories, jar like strawberry and pineapple, apricot. Just I respond, but it's time shady by the sound off. Hello, love. It is currently eight in the morning, and we are headed over to do some deadlifts. Got to work up to a top single of an RPE eight. Now I don't normally work out this early, but I think that with a positive attitude, I can just about achieve anything I want. Ah. Sound like you're from London. So maybe someone out there is watching my video for the first time. They're seeing me for the first time. So first of all, my name is Max Tuning and I am a fitness influencer, if you can't tell. And the deadlift is my favorite exercise. And surprisingly, I'm pretty decent at it. So we're working up to a top single today on something that I could hit for a triple, but we just hit for a single, then we're gonna do some back offs. So in your brain, in your tiny little brain hole, how much weight do you think we can pull today? Is it 400 pounds? Is it 500 pounds? Is it 550 pounds? Find out. Wow, 135 flew so fast, Max. All right, guys, 225 pounds. Whoa, 315 pounds. You're getting crazy, man. 315 is when I put the chalk on my hands. If you guys don't have chalk at your gym, find a new gym. Wow, 
So 315 is when we put on chalk and 405 is when we start using the belt. This is when I kind of like kick my mentality into, okay, it's not super heavy, but we mean business now. The weight's gonna start increasing at a rapid pace and start getting into those upper percentages. So keep the mind right, stay strong, and literally just grab the bar and stand up. Every single time, like all you have to do is pick the weight up. Just stand up, Max. How is this uh, like wide angle crotch shot for you guys? Are any of you on like a 38 inch widescreen monitor? You're like, my eyes are bleeding. <laughs> All right, we're starting to get a little heavy right now. 500 pounds. All right, so top set, we're gonna try 550 pounds. You watch this single and then leave your comment down below. Max, you definitely had two more or Max, that was way too heavy. You should have gone lighter. Ooh. I swear, there is no other exercise that I could do at like eight in the morning and get excited about. Like, I don't want to work out this early anyway, but I'm traveling later in the day. But I just like, like there's, what else is more satisfying than ripping weight off of the ground? Did the bench press? <laughs> the squat? The bicep curl? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? 500 pounds or 495, set of three. Uh, a couple of those. Yeah, here we go. Oh, I love it! Hey, man. No, 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 no. Sit. Sit. Good boy. Hey man, you're gonna hang out with Uncle Christian this weekend. Are you happy about that? What? Oh, 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 oh. Really? Oh, oh, oh. So I'm just about to leave. I went into Christian, he's on the phone, or else I would have filmed it. But I was like, all right, you're good to watch too. He's like, yeah, yeah, just like text me everything. Like, you know, I had to take care of him. I'm like, Christian, you've had a dog for like five years. Just, just make sure he doesn't die. Feed him and let him go to the bathroom. He's like, yeah, hey, but just text me. I'm like, okay, number one, don't let him die. <laughs> All right, man, I miss you. I'll be back, man. I love you. I love you. Oh, you just walked in. Yeah, you'll be all right, man, you'll be all right. I heard that, you know. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> I, I think you'll survive, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a lot more energetic than Nala is, so. He's it, active. Dude's basically like me, and Nala's basically like you. Yeah. We get along somehow. Somehow. All right, peace. Joe! What? Nothing. What the fuck was that? What was that? I don't know. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video now. I gotta head to the airport. I'm gonna watch the new Breaking Bad movie. I'm a super... Oh, God. Mm. Mm. Such a good YouTuber. God, I don't know how to end the video. All right, guys, I'm gonna head... No, no, no. Come on. <laughs> All right. All right, guys, I'm going to head to the airport now, so... No, I don't want to say... No, no, no. Where are you going to head? I don't even need to tell people about the airport. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap the video up here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this at all, any portion of it, smash the thumbs up button, and I, I, I can't wait to see you in the next one. Are you filming the airport? No, I didn't say I'm going to see the airport. This is you the end taking your camera? No. Oh. I'm going under the radar. I was say it'd be way cool to end the video at the airport. We're gonna get the video up. Peace.